It's a public building is allowed inside. It's a public building. It's a public building. Paid for by the public. Paid for by the public. Right, okay. If I serve you with this, can you take that in there and somebody give you a signature to say that we've received it? I can give you some. Do you want the sign something to say? I will pass it on to you. Yes, please, if you can. Notice to agent. Notice to agent. Notice to principal. Notice to principal. Notice to agent. I'm serving you this document. And I do need a receipt for it, so it's proof of claim. Tell you what, then I will go and pass this to a boss right now. Okay. And I will get you some sort of receipt. Exactly. I just need proof of claim that that's the sign for it. It's been registered. Okay. Why can't you get him out? I do. Why can't you get one of the seniors out? Well, you just have to go in and do it, so I'll go and do it. Why don't they come out though? You just have to go in, so I'll go and get ask, ask them to come out. Oh, yeah, yeah, ask them to come yeah, out. To come out, yeah. Shut Can one of the time we were allowed in this? Bring him to the office. All right, just while you wait, sir. Are you happy? First of all, tell me your name, who's cousin My name is Wesley Amut and my cousin was Anthony Granger who was shot dead by Greater Manchester Police on the 3rd of March 2012 while he was sat unarmed in his car with no weapons and the police knew he had no weapons on him because it was a surveillance on him for three months. Operation Shire, they were watching him over the stolen missing member stick which the police had driven across the car for. Why are you here and what are you trying to achieve? I'm here just to serve a notice on Tony Lloyd. Uh, so it acknowledges that there's a live petition which has gone out today regarding Sir Peter Sayer. While he's under criminal investigation, he should be suspended like any other police officer would be. We heard the explanation yesterday from Tony Lloyd that it's not necessary, that there's no legal reason to suspend him. Do you not accept that? Uh, it's just a whitewash. All I can see is Tony Lloyd, best of buddies, I've gone to the police commissioners meetings, they're always together, so there's no way he's going to, he's going to, you know, suspend him. There's no way he's going to take him off duty. How realistic is it, do you think, you are going to achieve? Well, all we need is signatures. The, he, the petition's gone live, so hopefully this will be all over the media soon. We've only set it this morning. Uh, so we just need signatures, that's all. So we demand that he's suspended until after his investigation. You've been stopped here at the doors. What do you actually want to say to Mr Peter Farming? Uh, I just say that he should. He's always promised, he's always said to me, they're just as frustrated as me and my family are waiting. And he has gone and pleaded not guilty to this health and safety charge, which uh, the CPS is charging with. He's pleaded not guilty, which means he's pushed back our inquest before, so it's going to take years before we can have, a, have an inquest. And it's, delayed, it's a delay tactic the police use and the establishment and the CPS and the judicial system, because they're all corrupt. They're all in on it together, and that's why they push it back. So the families, you know, can't get justice. They're obstructing justice in this country. Right, well, um, uh, partly because, you know, of, uh, just for Granted Granger campaign to be involved in, uh, uh, to some extent, uh, and, uh, but, but also because of Sir Peter Fahey, that finally, that finally is getting his comeuppance. And uh, although the IPCC has, has generally not done, taken it seriously about sort of actually investigating police officers, because it's police want investigating police, uh, the, uh, uh, they are actually investigating for criminal matters. There was a whistleblower in the, uh, um, as a serving police officer. Um, and very serious allegations. I mean, with all the stuff about paedophilia that's coming out at the moment, you actually get a situation where um, uh, th there was a, 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 um, a, a suspected child sex offender was under investigation and, they, uh, they and under surveillance, and they actually let a, uh, a child into his um, into this. Uh, Sex offender, uh, alleged sex offender, uh, suspected sex offender's home, while they were while they were the surveilling his his, uh, his property, <laughs> and sort of, and and it has been alleged, um, and I've seen this in the media, it's sort of that it's been alleged that it's Peter Fry, that there's been a cover up, and it's obvious that it's Peter Fry is responsible for that. Who else would do the cover up? He wouldn't. It's not as if he didn't know about it. <laughs> and sort of, so so it's sort of whether he's to what extent. Uh, um, 
he's been involved in all in all the different allegations. That that one surely pointed him and sort of and uh, so he should spend a long time in jail. And that would be a massive turnip for the books, wouldn't it? <laughs> and sort of and I've been involved in the Barton Moss protests and so I know I know of the brutality of there and they're just picking people up indiscriminately, uh, sort of uh, for walking too a bit too slowly or or even following uh, somebody who's um, uh, so sometimes people following orders and actually not going too too uh, too slowly and just picking just uh, uh, picking them um, just uh, arresting them anyway so down this private road and so they always they said it's a private road but really it's a public footpath and all that sort of stuff and had to let people off and so on but uh, it's sort of they're so corrupt they're they're, uh, they're so brutal there's a number of different. Uh, um, um, a number of uh, people dying due to Greater Manchester Police, and sort of no nobody's faced any charges over these things. It's not just Anthony Granger, but obviously with uh, Wesley has been somebody I know. And uh, when I saw um, uh, uh, when I saw in the uh, on Channel uh, ITV News, that's it, on, on ITV News about the uh, last night about uh, some people by being investigated. I, saw, I, th I thought this was a good opportunity to, uh, for um, Wesley to do something about it. I suggested he set up a petition, which he now has done, uh, which you can go to at tinyurl.com slash suspend dash, and that's a middle dash on an underline, Fahey, F-A-H-Y. So I suggest people go there and uh, um, and sign the petition. Thanks for Thanks for much. You're welcome. After yeah, being yeah. spending ten years in prison, not one officer has said sorry to my family. Never mind me. The chief constable, who proved he committed perjury, he hasn't said sorry. And to add insult, I was awarded half a million in compensation. The Ministry of Justice decided not to pay me because I wasn't innocent enough. I was declared innocent under the appeal court, and the judges said I was innocent. So the Ministry of Justice has overruled the appeal court. Well, money's not going to bring those 10 years No, it won't, but it would, I would like to have to stand up and apologise to my wife and children. My children have gone without me. My wife went 20 years ago. And you can't bring that back. And I can't get that back, and you can't get an apology. That's say, no, it's just happened. And it's happening, and it's going to get worse. Everyone's going to have to scrap it on. One, now we've got it. Yeah, we've got a group photo. Yeah, get her in front. Get her in front. Justice Justice Community Protection Camp, Social Services, Steel Children. That's, I uh, think, New Fathers for Justice. Justice for Jordan Bergley. Uh, Tasered by the police. Diet. G for us, God help us all. <laughs> We've come out of retirement yeah. to let Fahi know we're back. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Good. <laughs> we're back. Mr. Fahey is going to be having kittens. <laughs> we're do you, back. Do you, do you think he's on a signal today? I think so, yeah. I think they realised it was coming here today. Yeah. That's why they put security on the door before we even got here. They were here. <laughs> um, which I find amazing because if you come in the week, if anybody comes past there in the week, Lovely. you don't have police on the door. Obviously, police, all huh? the doors are locked, everything's shut up, bolted up. <laughs> so, Wesley, I can't get into that building. All I was doing was serving, uh, all I was doing was serving a notice on Tony Lloyd for him to, to suspend, do his duty and suspend Faye until after the criminal investigation. What's the problem? The problem is. He's got a knighthood before his name. Now, if I had a knighthood, I'd be very aware because the OBE list with the Queen are full of paedophiles and he's got that sir in front of his name. So you carry on using that title if you think you're better than everybody else because you're not. One is this going on news? Five there is no justice in this country. There's just us. Just us and them. No yeah. justice, no peace, just us. No more deaths in custody. Down with the corporations. Five, six, seven, seven campaigns, seven different campaigns here. Uh, okay, so, Mr. Kate's asking why you're here today. 
Yeah, I'm here to in support of the Justice for Anthony Grange campaign. It's one very, very serious issue involving Greater Manchester Police, the shooting dead of an unarmed um, uh, innocent man not to have been charged with any offence. Uh, one of many scandals that are all now coming together and we are here to demand that Peter Five, Chief Constable of the Greater Manchester Police, be suspended while all these issues are properly investigated by an independent investigation panel. So, okay, so you are... Um, so are you here as an individual? Are you part of any, any I'm group? I'm as an individual, I support the Justice for Anthony oh, Very good, very good. Okay. Thanks. So, um, so, as an outcome, do you... As a, looking back into all um, uh, history, his um, crime history of Greater Manchester Police, do you believe that uh, uh, his resignation is, um, is a resolution for you? Would you be satisfied with him resigning or would you want something else? For instance, no. I want him to go to jail. He should face justice. Uh, yes. But when you say justice, he's have you got boss. any idea? He's the boss. He's responsible for this force. Everything it does. If there are cover-ups, then he is responsible for any cover-ups that happen. Well, yeah, so that's why he's getting he paid. He should be held to account. The fact that he's still sitting behind his desk in that office when all these very serious issues have been put into the public domain now, to me, seems ridiculous. In any other walk of public life, we would expect the top boss to be suspended while investigations take place. He's commanded this force, he's in a position to obstruct those investigations while he's behind his desk in that thing. That True. Is not satisfactory. No. You mean even he can influence the outcome of uh, this investigation? Well, yeah. can command any officer in that building to do what he says. Um, an IPCC. At, a, at a time when there are serious complaints against him in this ridiculous and untenable situation, he shouldn't be sitting in the chief office in that building there in command of the whole of the force. When the very serious charges against, against the force that he commands have been made.